Hello friends, we are going to draw a flow chart to convert a binary number to a decimal number. For example, if I am giving a binary number 100 is converted into equivalent decimal number 4. So for this, we are going to draw a flow chart. So this is the logical Dot of the flow chart. I am obtaining an input, the binary number from the user. Input B. Next. I am initializing using a set statement the variable d equal to 0, p equal to 0, i equal to length of b minus 1. That means the length of the input b minus 1. So, if I store a binary number 100, 0, 0, the length of b is 3, 3 minus 1 equal to 2. The value of i equal to 2. Next, I am checking a condition. If I greater than 0. If I greater than 0 equal to true, and storing C equal to B of I. If this is true. So what is the I value? i equal to length of b minus 1. Length of b is 3, 3 minus 1 equal to 2. 2 is the initial value of i. So, b of 2 will get stored. What is b of 2? You can see at the index position of the array b. So, 1 is in the 0th index position. The 0 is in the first index position. The 0 in the second index position. The 0 will stored in the, the variable c. Next. I am calculating d, d equal to b plus c multiplied with 2 power p, d equal to d plus c multiplied with 2 power p. Next. I am incrementing p by 1. Next, I am decrementing the value of i, i equal to i minus 1. So, connecting the flow chart back to the decision statement, this will go like a loop until i greater than 0. If i greater than 0, false. In such a case, I am printing b. Print the value in the variable d and this is the logical end of the flowchart. Stop. Start input b. I am initializing the values for the variable d equal to 0, p equal to 0, i equal to length of b minus 1. If i greater than 0, I am storing the value of b of i in the variable c. Then I am calculating d. d is for the 
decimal value of the given binary value which is equal to d plus c the c multiplied with 2 power p and p equal to p plus 1 and i am decrementing i by 1 and connecting the flowchart back to the decision statement so this will go continuously until i greater than 0 this loop will go continuously until i greater than 0 is true i greater than 0 is false in such a case i am printing the value stored in d and i am ending my flowchart by using this logical end we will take a sample input and check how this flowchart works now we will take a sample input and check how this flowchart works so my input is 100 it is a binary value logical start input b my input b equal to 100 here set d equal to 0 comma p equal to 0 and i equal to length of b minus 1 length of b is 3 3 minus 1 equal to 2 my value of i equal to 2 now we will check i greater than 0 2 greater than 0 condition is true c equal to b of i c equal to b of 2 so what is in the second next question of the array b the value is 0 so which is equal to 0 c equal to 0 d equal to equal to d existing value of d what is the existing value of d which is 0 0 plus c what is the value of c is 0 multiplied with 2 power p so 2 power 0 which is equal to 0 plus 0 into 2 power 0 2 power 0 is 1 ok then 0 into 1 equal to 0 0 plus 0 equal to 0 the d value is 0 now p equal to p plus 1 i am incrementing p by 1 p equal to p plus 1 which is equal to existing value of p is 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 i equal to i minus 1 i equal to i minus 1 what is the existing value of i is 2 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 then I am checking 1 greater than 0. 1 greater than 0 is true. C equal to B of I. C equal to B of what is the value of I is 1. B of 1. So what is B of 1? B of 1. Okay. In next question 1 we are having a value which is equal to 0. So value of C equal to 0. Now I am calculating D d equal to existing value of d is 0 plus value of c what is the value of c this is equal to 0 multiplied with 2 power p 2 power what is the value of p is 1 2 power 1 which is equal to 0 plus 0 into 2 power 1 is 2, 0 into 2 equal to 0, equal to 0. So d value is 0, p equal to p plus 1. p equal to p plus 1. p equal to what is the existing value of p is 1. 1 plus 1 equal to 2. i equal to i minus 1. i equal to i minus 1. Existing value of i is 1. 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Ok. So, i greater than 0. So, I am making a small change in the logic. i greater than or equal to 0. Ok. i greater than or equal to 0. So, here 0 greater than or equal to 0. The condition is true. c equal to b of i c equal to b of i. What is the value of i? i is 0. b of 0. So, what is the b of 0? Okay, 1 is in the 0 index question. So, c equal to 1. Now, d equal to 
existing value of d which is 0 plus c value 1 multiplied with 2 power p 2 power p so what is the value of p p is 2 2 power 2 so this is equal to 0 plus 1 into 2 square 1 into 4 which is equal to 0 plus 4 equal to 4 so what is my input 1 0 0 is my input my output is 4 my input is 100 zero zero binary number my output is 4 so the decimal increment of binary 100 zero zero is 4 my flowchart is working perfectly this flowchart will work for any kind of uh, binary number we convert it into equivalent decimal number uh, that's it thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel share comment and press the bell button thank you